Okay, so we have this, let me save it again. And let me see the ETL jobs we have here. So we have here two ETL jobs, right? One to, to your source data uh, to the SQL Server in Yazuri, and another to build your table inside the Headshift. So right now we can do that. We can do this workflow. Workflow is a um, graph administration for your pipeline. So I will create a new workflow here, college workflow FT orders. So in properties, we're not the user here. We can manipulation the concurrency every time his workflow is running now. So I will create a workflow and not put any of them. And after I will click on the new workflow. And I, here I have our graph to do this, all this manipulation of the another ETLs, right? So I will start adding a trigger. When you add a trigger, uh, like we saw before, this is, is just an, an example or it's going to be used for all the, the workflows here. So we can uh, do this conditional or do this schedule. Uh, I will add a new schedule called the starch schedule and I will select schedule. And right now I can put the frequency. For example, I can put the daily every time 190 a.m. I will run this workflow, right? So I will click and add. Right now I can add a new node here. So the first node, I will select the job SQL server. So it's gonna be this execution on the next of the start schedule. So right now I can use, for example, I can add here some redundancy for work of uh, your pipeline. So first, first things, what, what I can, well, what you can do here for do this redundancy? So I have to do this uh, before to do this extraction and get the select and put here my uh, S3. I can make a connection um, to test if uh, my Azure my SQL Server is available. I can do the looping here to uh, make the strategy. If it's not available, we uh, have the, some delayed or we're gonna wait some time to do again. So this graph is responsible to do the, all these things here. So we start the schedule, you have the job SQL Server, you're gonna be a simple, you're gonna do here a simple graph, right? So have a creativity and work of your team and see you guys how you can do this redundancy and robust workflow to minimize all the garbage in garbage out we have to always have this in mind right so this is something important so we, uh, and next i will add a new trigger here this new trigger is a conditional so i will call us success this is gonna be a, an event right call it success and i will click here in this node and when we have our sql server succeed and i have this timeout or failed to or stop it i will add that because the job is directly from that for any right this event i will select new job here to run job orders head shift. So I will add that. So I have a simple graph here. When we start schedule, job SQL server to bring your source data to S3. If you have a su success, I will start another job called it job orders head shift. So we saw here how you can do this redundancy, if you stop it, if it's time out. So we have to do this, all these things when I think about the production stuff, right? So let's go. Uh, after that, before we run this graph, I will go to do head shift and I will delete this table, right? So be careful to delete the tables and drop the tables. You have to have uh, some environment to do some, some tests, right? So before you go to pro this production, but as I said before, this is environment of test. This is a tutorial, a video about tests, so it's not a problem right that. But be careful 
with drop table directly from the production, all the best practices you have always to have in mind, right? So let me drop this table and I will select again just to see if it works. Right, let me turn off this chart and run again. Okay, does not exist this table. So I can return here to workflow and click and run workflow. So right now we're going to start this graph and after the strategies graph, we're going to do the job SQL server. If I have a success, it's going to start the job orders head shift. Okay, guys, so we finish here. It's bringing for us another succeed. And right now, I'll speak about everything we do here. Uh, let me return here to architecture. So we construct your first structure of data warehouse. Bring your data for our source data outside the AWS using the AZD here. And after that, to make these connections, the right connections with VPC, EMI, and Script Manager to do this manipulation of secrets. So we're building your data on top of the S3 using the data catalog. And after that, you make the some transformation, not do the deeply start schema, but uh, a little about that for you guys. And after you build your data here in Headshift. So um, we drop the table, the, the last test, right? So let me see here if you can select the from the public key FT orders again. So let's run and there we go. So we have here this new table bring from your workflow work structure on the, the AWS glue. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel. If you give me some feedbacks, what you're gonna see here. So have some things to improve. I know uh, this this is a work in progress channel here of the all these videos. I'd like to show for you guys all the stuff, all my knowledge using the data here. So feel free to send a comment for me, to send a feedback. I will like so much of that. And see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.